Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith and the Black Channel here at Ticker Talker, and market's fighting back, but let's take a look here. Here's one of the things you want to be able to recognize here, SPY, still an inside day. So we had a big range yesterday, and although uh, this is a big comeback, we're still not, a lot of things still aren't taking out yesterday's highs. So when you have a, a market like this, all right, you want to try and avoid stuff like this, albeit it's a nice big range, and you can see here, minding the, the 60 here on the SPY. And in the morning, it just starts running, right? And at that time, a lot of the things are going to look just like the futures run. But once you have this corrective activity here, when it starts to come in a little bit that next hour, and um, that next hour when it comes in, then what we're looking for is anybody taking out yesterday's lows, right? And the reason you want to do that is because anybody's long, they got what they wanted, the market rallied back, right? But as soon as it softens up and starts taking out previous lows, all sorts of trouble. So here you go, two up to down here but doesn't fall apart and now trying to take this back up for another reversal back up so we're constantly watching these 60s and I talk about that all the time especially when you have an inside day right um, because we call that a vortex right when you get caught up without realizing you're an inside day so we want to be looking for things taking out yesterday's lows or taking out yesterday's highs right because that tells us people are trapped on the wrong side if we go to QQQ and QQQ, also, you look at this, inside day, right? You're going to get chopped up in there. Albeit, it's trying to take the two back up, right? And you want to be aware of that depending on what you're trading. Remember, it did take out last month's lows here. So below 322.81, or still there. So we're still on guard over there because we know the SMH. The SMH also is the two up two down month now so these guys are trouble you can see some of them rallying back but you're just doji on the day now and just chopping around and here's what we call a triangle out when you see this broadening formation like this here this and this are an outside bar of all this you see so you want to be careful there so we got some good news for the redditors the apes you got gamestop GameStop takes an inside day up, not totally blasting, but that's setting up a, hopefully a reversal for them or you. Inside week, pokes down, so we'll see if that sets up the rev strat for tomorrow. Uh, right now, on the 60, you see this, two up by taking up the high, two down. So in the next hour, we want to know about this, over 153.80. So we'll see how that goes with AMC. And AMC on the week takes out the previous high, takes out the previous low, and boom, there's your 222. And off she goes. Going after the month. The inside month on AMC here is 1222. So it took it out and then stalls out. Now inside on the 60. Hopefully for them, maybe she get that up sideways measured mover, and off she goes. Uh, if we go to uh, really looking where they're posturing something that's not an inside day, XLP. An XLP outside day they tried to hit it it comes all the way back outside day here's your outside 60 to start the day then it stalls out and then boom another hour of up and that's gonna give you Procter and Gambles and all them kind of good guys here you can see outside day right, taking out yesterday's high something you'd want to know you're taking out last week's highs and so this on here when you see this upper middle outside week and then the reversal 2-2 here and this just ran out of time so we we're looking these two three two 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 and these three become an outside bar of that you see and that's how you properly gauge magnitude uh we go to just around the horn over there pepsis coming up here a little bit your cokes your mondelez here your kimberly clark so you can see they're posturing all into the xlp this morning so far and so we'll see if that uh continues if we go to a little bit of healthcare. Is that XLV looking? XLV, now you can notice here in the upper left, not an inside day. It took, it's a 2-2 reversal, right? That tells us we can go looking around in there when the UNHs. Outside day, just kind of stalling out and grinding. We'll see. ANTM, how you doing? ANTM, boom, 2-2 reversal, back up. If you go to um, Cigna, and Cigna, inside day to the upside, all right? And so... Uh, th these are the kind of things you want to look for, especially after a big down day, and once we start to recover, how's Humana? I mean, Humana is about to go outside day, we'll see. Um, we had BDX. 
and BDX just here on the daily see this here this was an inside bar this red was inside of that then a slight poke down yesterday and then boom there's your rev strat one two two back up as it takes that out now we'll see if that sets up on the 60 30 for you market just kind of meandering here just a little bit as it should on inside days uh, but like I said we can keep watching those 60s uh, a little exchanges coming up here a little bit CBOE having a nice run here going to the highs of the month all right and just pushing here with CME and CME inside in the 60 right now, we'll see. But having a nice inside month to the upside and an inside week to the upside for CME. How's the ice doing? You guys doing anything over there? Icy? No, nope, ice forming inside day. Uh, if we go to SRCL, another thing you can look to is guys going to the highs. And they say, right? So it's a little grindy up in here, but something to keep an eye on. Just, you know, when the market gets hit and you got something that's doing this and unaffected in the market, uh, uh, comes back you know these are, these are good guys to go after so one of the things we really want to see if we do stay inside day you can have massive inside days coming into friday um and we'd go from there if we go to ups ups once again taking out yesterday's highs and that tells us maybe a fedex fedex not as much expd all right, and there you go. We're taking out yesterday's highs. How are the trannies doing themselves? Trannies. Trannies still inside today, so always be aware of that. The downside we had uh, crude oil getting hit here as the pipeline's coming back. As the pipeline's coming back online, so crude comes down, and that gets them going. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the XLE not doing too much. But you can see this just kind of fade, and yet you were looking to see if that was going to fade harder. Didn't, but uh, faded a little bit, so I don't know if there's EOGs or whatever and coming in. Just a tad, you know, so energy's not really getting hit that bad. And Kathy, of course, arc inside day to the downside, as there's a lot of things that are, are underperforming here. If we go to AMD and AMD slightly taking out yesterday's inside day to the downside but that certainly is going to have my attention especially if the market weakens in the afternoon uh, if you go to palo alto palo alto were you inside day there was a lot of inside days yesterday that was good yep inside day to the downside here palo alto to down here going after the month this would be a 2-2 reversal month below 325.85 you're almost there and uh, we can see if that keeps going. If we go to TDOC. And TDOC. Inside day to the downside. Nice puker right there. Hit it right at, when it blinks. Takes this out below 138.44. And you're good to go because it's still inside month and down. With your day combo. If we go to MASS. MASS now stuck here on the 60. Another inside day to the downside, inside month to the downside combo, you see. So, mother bar issues is what we say when you get an in, inside bar. Now, it's kind of stuck in here, so we'll see uh, if anything comes of that in the afternoon. If we go to NEO, and NEO, inside day to the downside, all right, which triggers the inside month to the downside, right? So, real nice on that, real nice and clean. That's what you like to see. If we go to CSIQ. And CSIQ, also inside day to the downside. Right? I think that was a two month or though. Yep. Two month by slightly taking out these highs. And then this is a t this is technically a two up until it goes compound three. These two become an outside bar of that. You see? Triggered by your inside day after this. Trying to be out. Right here. Stop them out. Boom. Two two back down. You see that? Real nice. If we go to ABMD. And ABMD. Been talking about this one all month. This setup we look for all the time. The shooter counters hammer. Two down, two up. Shooter. Boom. These two become an outside bar of that. Been watching this one all month and it's still going. So all you got to do is wait for a little triangle of the out like this here. The two up and then boom. When, you, when it takes this low out, you nail it. And these two are going to be an outside bar of that. 
when all time frames are red. Every reason to believe that's going to work and keep going, and it did. If we go to right blockchain, is the uh, Bitcoin getting hit, hit a little bit here, and right blockchain, once again, inside day to the downside. Not that hard, right? Bright red on the month, red on the week. Yep, every reason, reason to believe that's going to work. If we go to SQ... SQ another inside day to the downside and here a two up two down month so we're looking to come all the way down here and take this out this would be 191.36 so these two become an outside bar of that right that's what we're looking for SQ if we go to WIX and real nice on this one yesterday kicking pattern get this bright green and then it gaps here all sorts of trouble when that happens and now still trying to continue on that inside month to the downside here still good and so on the 60th wait for it to pop up a little bit and then bam so I'm going into the lows right now so it needs a set up again for you if you go to OLED and OLED is now popping back up but it did take out yesterday's lows and that's that's why I got my attention we'll see uh, still got some magnitude here on the monthly. You can see this pops above that and then comes in. So looking for these two to become an outside bar of that. If we go to BNTX. BNTX, we know this baby can move around here too. Inside day to the downside here. Now trying to firm up here. We'll see if we get more setups on that. What's this market doing? All right, market's drying up as expected when you have this inside day you can expect this stall out all right because it's not doing anything and it's countering the larger time frames right we prefer all those to line up and we don't have that today if we go to jack the box what are you doing here buddy yeah jack the box no let's go to flr and flr fleur ah so here you go on the monthly so it was an inside month that poked up, and then when it goes red on the month again, we're looking for that to become an outside bar. We call that one bar rev strat. Inside, then three, outside bar, right? And boom, just took her, took her down hard. Now we'll see if that sets up again, too. What's going on here? We got ZM going to the lows. And ZM taking out inside day here, and also an inside month to the downside. So especially if we can get some of these uh, things that are already in trouble, to uh, if the market backs off, stick it to them again because you got beyond the meat. Beyond the meat, taking out yesterday's lows, still inside month and down, not totally getting killed, but we can keep it on the radar with airbag and bag. Inside month to the downside here, nice. And the two slightly two up, two week or two day to the downside. We'll see if that sets up again for us. Airbag and bag. You've got Fiverr, and Fiverr, inside day to the downside, inside month to the downside, red in all time frames, that's something I'd want to know about. Uh, if we go to DXCM, DXCM, I've been watching this since this gap, right? This is how you get into something that's just falling apart like this here. Two down by taking out the lows. Two up by taking out that high, and then boom, right here, you're in. Just let her keep a puking, because she's still puking off that monthly. If we go to EXAS, and EXAS, that inside month's still hurting this thing. Now you got your outside day, so when this went red, you can take it right there as soon as it goes red, because we're going to be an outside day of the inside day, you see? Uh, if we go to um, the Bumbles, Bumble bag. <laughs> having so all sorts of welcome to the world, puker. And now straight down, having a rough day over there. Watching this market do nothing. All right. So just a couple more here. Let's take a look. NVAX. If we can get this inside data start to accelerate a little bit, maybe that would help. All right. But I'm always running out of time. So be aware of there are a lot of inside days and you can expect things to dry up when that happens as the day goes on and then next tomorrow we're going to see all these inside days which direction do they break right 
after Cheapo Option Friday. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith, the Smith and Black Channel here at Ticket Tackle Strat Time Report.